I'm excited today, Eric. I'm excited. It's the big day. It's the big day. We got a nice course review. This is not some Joe Schmo course. This isn't your average run-of-the-mill nine-hole crapperware. This is the real deal. You see, this ain't your run-of-the-mill crapperware. This is the real deal. Luxury, finest, one of the highest rated courses in Northern California. We're playing it for you today. Dimpled balls, let's lock it in. We actually have a lot of time still though, so we're gonna try out the range. We're gonna try out a bunch of new stuff, get you a golf club review. We're gonna do all that kind of stuff. We're gonna try and avoid these bumps here. All right, we gotta find the backdrop. Yokadihi. Definitely didn't pronounce that right, but here we are. Here we are. Again, one of the highest rated golf courses in California, and it's right in our backyard. I've never played it, but today's the day. All right, we are all set up. We got our clubs on our bag. Eric's gonna try out this hot dog. The full Glizzy Gobblers hot dog review is up on the channel, so uh, be sure to check that out if you're interested in it. Otherwise, we're going to get right back to the golf club review. This is the first ever hot dog review. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I think we can call this the Sandwich Club episode, too. No. This is luxury. This is absolutely luxury. You can just walk over anywhere, practice facilities, anywhere, and just pick up a ice cold bottle of water. It says cash, cash in on it, you know, and we're cashing in. This round normally costs around 150 to 200 dollars, which is definitely on the high side. But we found a hot deal for like 62 bucks, so I'm not complaining. All right, so you hit off mats. It looks like you can play off grass, but the sign says mats only, so we're on the mats today at the driving range. Eric, how do you feel about this range? You like it? Yeah. I prefer, I prefer the grass to get warmed up, but I mean, these maps are nice, so it's still good. Fair enough. And then look what you're hitting onto. It's just beautiful. You got some traps there you should avoid. You got some, it's the greenest grass you'll ever see. It's crazy. They just set the balls up for you in like this kind of a cool pyramid thing. We're at the end of the day, so our pyramid's kind of depleted, but nice touch. That was a good one. Take that. Hopefully I can do that in the fairway. Nice. One thing this range doesn't have is distances, so it's kind of hard to dial in like your club distances. And your short game, there is no short game facility right here. I'm assuming that's somewhere else, but other than that, it's a pretty good range. So the range was nice. They had waters and free balls set up and like a pyramid thing. Um, but there was no distances, so I give it like a seven and a half out of 10. Beautiful, but not very practical for trying to dial in distances before a round. We're at the putting green now. Um, we just hit a couple balls. Putting green's nice. I, I give it a 10 out of 10. Um, Looks beautiful. We're about to get on number one. Uh, we're not gonna film every shot of the round, obviously, but uh, a couple shots here and there if we get some really beautiful holes. But yeah, having a good time. It's uh, it's really beautiful out. It's like maybe 75. What do you think, Eric? What do you think so far? Well, I've been here twice before, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't upset every time you come here. It's a pretty good course. Definitely. The people have been nice. Everybody's been very friendly, so A plus. There's a beautiful water feature in the middle here. Just gorgeous hole. Man, just hit the crap out of that ball. <laughs> it's a perfect line. Oh, 
Si que je le short quand Grass is cut small, it's hard to hold. It's a good shot. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll take that. See you to the short game. Oh, wow. This thing's pretty geed up, too. Yeah, a lot of people trying to land it. Perfect. Yeah, pin high. Just shot. Another quick interjection here. I don't know if you can tell from the vlog that we made, but uh, I had a had a pretty tough time in the first nine holes that we played. I missed a lot of fairways. I hit a lot of bad balls, but that's okay. I still had a good time out here on the course. Everybody was extremely nice. The course marshal, the starter, the people at the front desk. They're not judging you based off of how good or bad at golf you are. They just want to show you a good time, and they definitely came through for me on this one. So just a quick little message here that even if you aren't the best that's golfer same. in the world, you can yeah. still enjoy yeah, a really, really, really nice course like Yokodihi. I would be happy to play there again and uh, again I had a really fun time even though I hit some bad balls it was really about enjoying the experience with my friend and enjoying a nice new course playing golf. It's on the green. I just watched it roll up. I don't know. <laughs> just drove a par four. You crazy son of a gun. As you finish 18, they hand you this warm towel to go ahead and dry your hands, clean off, I don't know, your legs. I don't really know what you do with this because I've never played at a place this nice. It's had like one or two other courses, but this was Yoka. Uh, we got some good shots in there for you guys. Real quick, before we get out of here, let's do a little golf cart review. This is for my man, Mr. Short Game. You have an excellent channel, my friend. I love the golf cart reviews and the private course reviews. Um, this is another Easy Go. This is the Tempo model Easy Go. It comes with storage up top to hide all your valuables from those thieves. It comes with a nice screen that gives you a good look at like where your distances are. So anytime you're looking to dial in a club, it'll give you the distance to the pin, which is nice. Of course, we got two bag holders. We got the sand and the holder, which I've only seen this on a couple different golf carts. And of course, on the other side, follow me. On the other side, we got a cooler full of drinks. And of course, Cash Creek Yokodehi water. So, um, the seats, let's take a look at the seats. We're doing this at night because it's, it's really late. Seats are beautiful. They got a cut in for two people. Real premium leather, very premium leather. <laughs> and then uh, that's pretty much all we got. We got one, two, three, five ball holder, a lot of spots for some tees, and of course for your screw balls. That was Yoka. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you in the next one.